GitHub is the gold standard for hosting code, but if you are looking for something a little more private like myself, then you are on the right video. Today, we're looking at Forge.js, the community-driven powerhouse that lets you own your own code. Forge.js is a soft fork of Git-T after it ended up going more commercial. It's lightweight, written in Go, and can run on anything from a Raspberry Pi to a high-end server. It gives you a GitHub-like experience, but is completely independent and open source. Today, we're going to show you how to self-host Forge.js in your own environment. All you really need is a Linux server, such as a VPS. I'm going to go ahead and get one built, and I'll see you guys right after. Once you have your server built, you're going to go to the official Forge.js website. The link to it will be in the description. We're just going to click Docs at the top right, and then we're going to click Installation, and then we're going to click with Docker. Before we continue here, we need to install Docker on our Linux server, so let's go ahead and do that. All you really need to do is go to the Docker installation website for whatever distribution you're using. We are using Ubuntu for this video. The link to the Ubuntu install will be in the description, but there is multiple other distributions on the left side. You can just click which one is yours and then follow the install instructions from there. But for us, we're going to scroll down and we're going to set up Docker's repository. Let's paste that command into our terminal and wait for that to finish. Once that is done, we'll go back to our browser. Scroll down just a little bit until you see the install command. Let's go ahead and copy that, paste that into our terminal. It will ask us if we want to continue. So let's press Y on our keyboard and enter, and then wait for that to install as well. Now that we have Docker installed, we can confirm with a Docker space dash V and press enter. And there we go. We have Docker version 29.1.3. Let's go back to our browser, go back to the Forge.js website or the documentation. And then we're just going to scroll down until we see a example Docker compose file. This is the one we're going to be using. So let's go ahead and copy all of this, go back to our terminal. Let's do a MKDIR space dash P forge J O. Let's go ahead and CD change directories into that directory. We're going to Vim or nano Vim space Docker dash compose dot YML. Press I on your keyboard and then paste in the Docker compose example. Everything looks fine here. So let's go ahead and press escape colon WQ and let's do Docker space compose space up space dash D and press enter on your keyboard. That should pull the container of Forge JO and it, then it should start the Docker container. It is a very quick install. So let's do Docker space PS. As you can see, it is up port 22, port 222 to port 22 is the SSH or how you actually use your Git commands and talk to your repositories. But here we have port 3000. That is actually going to be the web UI. So let's go ahead and do IP space A to grab our IP. It's right here. Let's go back to our web browser and let's paste that in with a colon 3000 and press enter. Should take us straight to the Forge JO setup. It's gonna ask us what database type. If you click that, you can do MySQL, PostgreSQL, or SQLite3. We're gonna leave this to SQLite3, but you can set up whichever one you want. Our instance title is gonna be Forge JO. That's fine. The slogan, repository, root path, the Git LFS. There's a bunch of things you can set up. We're gonna leave this all the same for now. If you guys have a domain, make sure you guys set it here and here. You guys can use something such as a reverse proxy to go ahead and put an SSL certificate on it. If you guys need to know how to do that, I have plenty of videos. I believe I made two videos now on how to do reverse proxy type stuff. I'll leave one of those videos in the description below if you guys wanna go check that out. So now let's go ahead and scroll down and click install Forge JO. You cannot disable user self-registration without creating an administrator account. So let's go ahead and go down. Let's go ahead and click administrator account settings and let's go ahead and create one. So let's do DOS, DOS at DOS.cc. And then let's type in a super secret secure password. Let's click install Forge JO. Should just take a couple of minutes. And we are in Forge JO. So as you can see, we're signed in as DOS. I can go ahead and sign out and show you guys this. So sign in, signing in with that password we just made, and we're back in just like that. So to show you guys a few things, if you go to the top right here, you'll see the create button, and then we can create a new repository. We will do YouTube-tutorial, and then we do want to initialize the repository. Uh, all that's fine. You guys can select a license, and then we're going to go ahead and click create repository. Once that is done, we have the HTTP and the SSH. Easy enough, we can go ahead and copy this URL, go back to our terminal, git clone, and then paste that in. Should go ahead and pull it. As you can see, we now have YouTube tutorial. So if we CD into that, and then we should have our readme, which we haven't really added anything except for the blank readme. But as you can see, Forge.js is working. It is just like GitHub. It is missing a few of the features, but it pretty much has everything you need for your own code repository. 
So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Love to help you guys out. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.